working on some John Deere 5 Series MFWD axles. These are Dana 725 axles. These are some cores that we're getting ready to send to the rebuild shop. I'm going to show you what we do to those, how we improve them, and where you can improve yours. So, this is the same Dana issue as 6 Series and 7 Series. No grease fitting. Of course, Deere says that's low maintenance. Of course, we know that's not the case. Low maintenance means high fail rate. So when you don't grease your bearing, this is what happens to your kingpin bearings. Your kingpin bearing goes out, your kingpin falls on, or the weight of your tractor, this is the bottom. So the weight of your tractor falls onto the steering knuckle and it eats into uh, your axle housing. And if you don't catch it soon enough, it will eat into your steering knuckle. At that point is when it kind of makes sense to replace your complete axle with an upgrade. If it's just one or the other, you're better off to just do a repair. So this is what it's supposed to look like. And this is what you don't want it to look like. So the only issue we run into is that the serial numbers of the tractors don't give us the exact um, part number or fitment for the rear support. So that's one thing if you're doing an upgrade that we need to know before we can ship you the correct one. Because if not, we'll have to ship you the support when you say it doesn't fit. We do use the Dana axle to replace this old Carrero axle off of the 5000 series, 5010 and 5020s. Can't get parts for these anymore. So when you have problems here, if they're major, typically the upgrade is the way to go. So a few options on how we sell it. We do sell a complete axle with a conversion. Kingpins have been drilled and tapped. We do sell a axle housing loaded. So if you have just have a differential issue, this is still a faster repair. We just pull the final drives off. We don't sell a lot of complete, or excuse me, individual parts, but check our website. We can help you out. Let us know.